quite recently delivered was again 0.05 AMH multiple failed case around 3 to 4 IV failures from Kannur. She delivered a healthy baby. Finally, one word about the procedure of stem cell treatment. We call it as ASCOT, that is autologous stem cell ovarian transfer, where we take the bone marrow from the patient's uh, iliac crust or the pelvic bone. It's a very simple procedure, take hardly five minutes and is done under local anesthesia, no pain will be there. And this 20 to 40 ml of uh, bone marrow will be processed in the stem cell research lab. And from that, uh, the mesenchymal stem cells and growth factors and all will be processed in two to three hours it takes. And this processed uh, stem cells and growth factors, which amounts to around 2 to 4 ml, will be injected into the ovary under the cortex. That is a thin layer of the outer covering of the ovary is called cortex. Under the cortex, we inject through laparoscopic surgery. That hardly takes uh, again half an hour procedure. There is a uh, rest for one day, finish, she can go back and uh, resume her duties. It's a quite simple procedure. Citing a few examples of uh, stem cell rejuvenation and uh, getting positive results. One patient is from Oman. She approached me at the age of 49 years, having failed 15 times of uh, IVF ICSI procedures from different, different countries like uh, Bangkok, Jordan, Egypt, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Muscat, several places. And her AMH was 0 0.07 with the AFC of uh, 1 to 2. We advised a stem cell, stem cell rejuvenation was done, ASCOT was done and in the four, third or fourth month we did the aspiration, we got seven eggs and uh, three embryos and uh, after transferring two embryos, she delivered a healthy baby at the age of 50 years. That was a very rewarding case. Another one recently, quite recently delivered was again 0 0.05 AMH, multiple failed case around three to four IV failures from Kannur, she delivered a healthy baby. Like that we have several, more than, um, I, I should say around 25 to 30% would have delivered now. And uh, incidentally, we, what we have seen is 10% of the patients while waiting for IVF pro programs, they have, they have had a spontaneous pregnancy also.